good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's hard being the last speaker <laughs> for the day. Thank you, uh, Business Advantage International, for the for the invite. Um, where do I start? Um, I'm from Papua New Guinea. Um, most people ask me that um, when when I when I'm in PNG, and I just want to make that very clear. I'm from east of Bougainville. I was actually born in a very rural community uh, east of Bougainville called the Motlock Islands. It's a group of 13 islands, pollination, but I do have a maternal uh, great-grandmother from the Manus province and a, another gr paternal grandmother from the East New Britain province. So <laughs> I do have a um, uh, mixed uh, PNG heritage. And um, <clears throat> I was a scholarship kid uh, from Bougainville, ended up in New Zealand, and then came back to PNG, uh, worked with the big four, but still needed uh, more qualifications. And uh, I was very driven um, to, to, um, to be an accountant, which is really boring, some of you might say. <laughs> but ended up uh, taking it really seriously. Uh, moved to Gold Coast to uh, start up my family. Um, and uh, realized that uh, I actually enjoy working in PNG, and I really want to go back and help my community. How? Different ways. I can help them through um, education, um, or I can also help them through business. And having an innovation, uh, innovative uh, business model um, was uh, my way uh, back to PNG. So I've been consulting for, I've been in the profession for more than 18 years but have been consulting for over 10 years. So PNG has a lot of business advisors, have, have some highly qualified accountants working there as well. Uh, we have the big four, which I have been, I spent a lot of my time with the big four. Um, as, uh, as Zani spoke about today, um, with business advice growing, it's, a, it's, a, it's an increasing area. Um, and I wanted to be innovative. How do I go back and help uh, how do I go back and make it a success? So about 2017, I decided to go back to PNG and set up Beach Accounting or BAA, um, bringing a few different things into the um, into the mix. I started up my CFO on-call services, and this is uh, targeting not only the corporate uh, clients who wants to um, who want to reduce their cost but also to the SME uh, market, which, is, uh, which was very, um, which really needed the service, uh, affordable service, because uh, advice uh, has been uh, significantly costly in PNG. And I think a lot of SMEs, and a lot of, not only SMEs, even the large businesses, sometimes they want to take the shortcuts and run their businesses and continue expanding without having the right advice. Um, to um to to you know to structure their business correctly or to you know they 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 have the great ideas but when they start expanding which a lot I have found in the last two years I have found a lot of um, great businesses in PNG that are just uh, just don't have the right structure and uh, and and that's where the CFO on call services um, started to grow so we have uh, we use uh, technology a lot um, in in my business model. Um, we focus on uh, research, uh, making sure we are up, up with the latest uh, technology to help us scale. Uh, growing a business is great, um, but if you're going to keep keep growing, uh, all your costs are just going to keep going higher. So you need to learn to um, we need to learn to scale, and that's where um, that's where I, I, I try to focus on with uh, with technology, uh, using the technology model, um, and also uh, staff training. In PNG, I found that uh, um, I think like uh, a lot of other places, but uh, I find more so in PNG, uh, training, building capability has been one of the biggest challenges, among other challenges, um, and uh, that's where I focus on as well um, with my uh, with my staffs. Also found that uh, when you start offering business advice, you know sometimes you're talking to a to a potential client, and you are saying. Look, you you know you do you do need business advice, and they look at you with a blank face. Um, really, you just want to cost me money, 
Um, but <laughs> I think if you start, if you, if they understand the um, the benefits of it, and also um, if you offer them the right fee, um, it helps. And I have found that uh, with my CFO on call services, uh, it's been it's been. Um, that's why it has grown uh, significantly. Is because our, our fee structure, uh, instead of using the the um, hourly rate, we use fixed rate. So that's uh, information for all advisors out there to to start looking into. Um, so using cloud technology has really helped, um, and I run. Uh, we went from uh, three employees in 2017 to now 30 plus employees, and I'm still the only director, so I probably will be needing a lot of help soon. Um, uh, but technology has helped me scale up um, and, and done things uh, remotely, a lot of things <laughs> remotely. So we're spread out in PNG. Uh, our clients are spread out in PNG. Um, uh, even some of them are in the rural areas, up in the highlands and in Bougainville as well. Um, although, Yes, uh, being on the cloud can be hard to manage in the rural areas. So we try. I think most of the um, most of our clients prefer us to do everything back in Port Mosby, <laughs> um, and that's where the that's where the CFO calls, CFO uh, on call services uh, come in. Um, for the SME sector, which is um, which is where we're helping a lot, um, we're actually partnering with different um, programs. Uh, so one of the, um, the concept that we had or we are still building on is the business hubs. And uh, having Amstrad Space as one of our partners in, um, in Port Mosby uh, has really helped uh, with um, helping the business setups, new business setups, and, and even existing businesses as well. Um, so that's, uh, that's, we are also partnering with uh, uh, a couple of uh, resource-based uh, businesses as well to help the landowner companies out where they are operating. So that's quite uh, that's a, that's an area I'd really like to continue growing um, and helping. We also partner with a program called uh, Business Link Pacific. Uh, they are an NZ aid program, and they actually um, they actually uh, subsidize a lot of SMEs that come to us. Um, so you have to be an accredited advisor with uh, Business Link Pacific before you before you go on their uh, program. And and uh, and then start uh, assessing businesses. Uh, you know, we give uh, we have uh, uh, other advisors in PNG and the Pacific who are on that same program, and it's really helped a lot um, because they are empowering the advisors who are on the ground uh, rather than sending the advisors uh, to come to PNG or the Pacific, which is uh, which is really good. I have uh, ten employees who are going through their advisor program next month. <laughs> So that's, that will be really helpful, because it's quite expensive to train staffs. Why CFO on call services? Um, it's affordable uh, for those who don't need a full-time CFO, although we do, there's been a few instances where we had to provide full-time CFO on call services. But um, if you have a full, full um, in-house, so I encourage part outsourcing rather than fully outsourcing. So you have the control of uh, your data and everything um, in-house. Um, and just bring in the, the expertise that you need for, the, for your business. Um, so a lot of SMEs and corporate uh, companies in PNG who are facing uh, some high economic, high, high cost at the moment with the way they're running businesses, that, that could, you could actually take advantage of that. So um, being innovative is gonna continue. Um, collaborating with uh, with partners, that is our model, our innovative model. Uh, we keep changing, we keep um, uh, trying to make our uh, services, uh, what's the word, um, more innovative, uh, not creative accounting, okay? Um, and uh, lastly, uh, there is a lot of room for advisors in uh, PNG right now. Um, it's uh, it's nice to to have uh, KPMG uh, as a, as one of the big fours come on board to help SMEs because that hasn't been the case in the past. We've had, um, I think, uh, because of the the cost of uh, of looking after SMEs and the and the value, or oh, sorry, the fee you get out of it can be can be um, uh, very low. Um, but I think it's good to see uh, big four also looking into it. There's a lot of room for advisors, and um, there's you know there's currently uh, probably about fifty thousand. 
or more or less, a little bit less, uh, who, are, who are needing the advice. And the government is trying to increase that to 500,000 in the next few years. How do you go from there to there? And I think that's where the advisors will, be, will come in handy. Thank you very much. Okay.